welcome to Black Thomas' channel. Make sure to watch all the way through. If you don't, I will end you. Vegeta. What? You have to be nice. Whatever. Make sure to click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Black Bulma, where I talk about Dragon Ball news and everything that's involved in the world of Akira Toriyama. I wanted to give my take on the recent interview that Toyo Taro had about the Dragon Ball Super manga, Goku, Vegeta, his takes on the drawings. He even talks a little bit about the movie. But before I get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you saw Toyo Taro's interview. Let's get into it. On the official Dragon Ball website, Toyotaro does an amazing interview where he gives his ideas and his thoughts on the recent manga, Goku and Vegeta. He gives us little details about Granola. It's really super dope. I thought it was really interesting that somebody actually asked him the age of Granola because I'm pretty sure what well, he asked the age, weight, and height of Granola and he goes he deep dives and goes into it he said that there's no confirmed height or weight for granola he kind of just said to base it off of goku and vegeta because if you ever see granola standing next to goku and vegeta they are kind of similar in build and height and weight so he just basically says there is no confirmation but basically you just go off of goku and vegeta's height and weight granola's age is already confirmed the lifespan of a Cerulean is about 150 years, but I believe we already have found because Granola wished to be the strongest in the universe, he only has about three more years to live. I thought it was really interesting that Toyo Taro said that the Cerulean start off as children, but much like Sans, they have kind of a fighting build as they grow as an adult because they're supposed to be fighters. So I thought it was really great to compare Cerulean's to the Saiyans because I'm not going to hold you. I do kind of get a similar Cerulean Saiyan kind of vibe when it comes to the Cerulean's and when it comes to Granola. But maybe that's just me. Toyotaro then begins to go on and be asked, what is your favorite weapon by Gas? And much like me, which I also agree with, is I do love Gas's, I don't know why I want to call them Rasen Shurikens. I always compare for some reason. Like I call Goku's um hologram form his uh, his susano and it's super dope <laughs> but if you don't know or if you didn't see gas has these big spiral type kunai shuriken weapons that he can that he can revolve around his arms and around his hands and it's super dope and toyotaro also said that is literally one of his favorite weapons on gas another thing toyotaro also reveals in an interview is that Granola's strength prior to him wishing to be the strongest in the universe is compared to Abo and Kado, which is Frieza elite soldiers. They aren't really that strong, so as stated in the interview, Granola and Gats got a huge power boost from the Wish of the Dragon Balls because without that, they literally wouldn't even compare to the strength of Goku and Vegeta. Another question which I thought was really interesting was they asked him who did he like better, Goku or Vegeta? He starts off by saying that he favors Goku more, but depending on the scene and the arc, it can go either way. He can go more favor more towards Vegeta or he can favor more towards Goku. I thought that was really dope for him to say because Toyotaro is essentially the artist and he works alongside Toriyama. So if the art calls for Vegeta to be the star, he reveals his alter ego, then you can kind of see that Toyotaro is going to essentially favor Vegeta more because he's drawing him more, he's giving him more dialogue, he's the spotlight, the spotlight of that scene. At the ending part of the interview, he basically talks about the movie, the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, which is scheduled to come out in the U U.S. on August 19th, which I'm super excited to see. And it's revealed that he actually went and saw the movie four times because, listen, I want to be the same way. I'm probably going to see it eight times. I cannot wait for it to come out. But let's talk about what Toyotaro said about his experience with, watch with watching Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Toyotaro goes into depth about how he loves the comedy bits. He loves the interaction with the characters he loved Toriyama's spin on it and Toei's way of showing Dragon Ball and that is the reason why he saw it four times and he also referenced the movie as some sort of inspiration probably to his drawings of the manga. I love how Toyotaro idolizes Akira Toriyama he learns from him he's soaking every piece of information that he can learn so he can apply that so he, he can also give he can give a Toyotaro touch to his his drawings but also give a Toriyama essence to the future of the manga. He's also asked what is his favorite part of the scene which I believe a lot of people might actually agree 
it is the ending i'm not gonna go too much into spoilers but i'm pretty sure everybody might have might already know what the end of dragon ball super superhero is it's my favorite part of the movie but i cannot wait to see it in theaters overall i believe the interview with toro taro is absolutely amazing we really don't get many interviews with toriyama we really only kind of get transcribed texts from him so it's really great to see toyo taro in person on the official dragon ball website giving us his insight on the future of the manga his takes and everything of that nature if you guys want to check out the full interview you can go to the official dragon ball website it is posted in the news part of the article go check it out it's absolutely amazing if you enjoyed this video please like comment what you thought about the interview about toyo taro's takes and granola scaling anything you might actually or anything i might have missed Make sure you let me know and make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't, I will come and get you.